first time in about 50,000 years, a comet is making an appearance in the night sky. Meteorologist Jill Gillardi is at Central Connecticut State University to tell us more about how and when we can see it. Jill. Well, you can actually see it now, but we do have clouds out there. So if we didn't have the clouds, all you would need is binoculars or a telescope. On January 12th, the comet is at its closest point to the sun, and to see it, you either love to stay up late or are an early riser. The best viewing time with optical aid will either be past midnight or just before dawn. For example, looking northeast around 6 a.m. on January 15th, the comet will be located between the Big Dipper, Vega, and Arcturus. Later in the month, the comet becomes more visible, not only to the naked eye, but earlier in the evening. We're hoping it's going to be visible to the unaided eye. Comets, especially comets that we're seeing for the first time in modern history, they kind of are like cats. They have a personality of their own, and you can never really judge how they're going to behave. So we're hoping, and all indicators are, that you will be able to see it from dark skies away from the cities with just your eyes. By January 28th at 11 p.m., the comet will be visible above and slightly right of Ursa Minor. And on January 31st, just after sunset now, at a much more reasonable time, you'll be able to see it above Ursa Minor too. And then on February 2nd, the comet will be at its closest point to the Earth. All right, so basically all you have to do, again, if you don't have the binoculars or the telescope and you want to see it with your eyes, all you have to do is towards the end of January, early February, take a look up, you know, face to the north, and then look for that little dipper, and it should be in the sky for you to view. Good luck. I'm meteorologist Jill Gillardi reporting live at CCSU, and for now, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Jill.